Hello everyone. My name is Roshan. I welcome you all for the second lecture of Allegation and Mixture. This is nothing but a continuation video from the average itself. So five terms which I have with me, I call them as A1, A2, AW, N1, N2. What are these terms, sir? I hope you guys understand this much that this allegation will be used in a situation where two things are mixed together to form the third one. Whenever this kind of situation will occur, always call this one as A1. Second thing is called as A2. The mixture is always called as A1. What is N1, sir? Obviously, the things quantity of the one and the service quantity of the second. Let me come back to A1 in detail. What exactly is the meaning of A1? A1 is nothing but rate value of type 1. What exactly is the meaning of rate value? I hope you have heard a term called a speed. We have also defined a speed as rate of distance travel. So speed is nothing but distance by time. So we can conclude from here any terms which are form A by B, we call them as rate value here. In examples will be speed, examples will be averages. There will be some more example which will be encountered here, ratio. Then we have some example called as percentages or even we have something called as profit and loss. So this is one of the universal topic. Reason I said this that this can be used in almost all the topic which I've written over there. Only you need to worry about is that this condition should be met. When two things are mixed together to produce a third one. In such kind of situation, you can always come back and use the allegation concept. Before starting the class, let's do one more activity. I want you people to assess yourself that where do you stand in terms of the concept? So I have four questions on the screen. I want you people to pause the video, try this four question, and let me know in the comment box how much time you have taken to solve this problem. And even if you're not able to solve the problem, no worries. I'll be helping out how to solve this problem in this video only. If you still want to have some special understanding, please let me know in the comment box. I'll come up with a special video for you. Okay. Question says that, see here. Whenever we have A1, whenever we have A2 given, when these two things are given, along with that N1 as well as N2 are given, or the ratios are given, we have to find AW. Whenever we have to find AW, such situation I have categorized as type 2. In this kind of situation, how to find the answer, how to get the answer, let me give you one example. I have two batches with me. I have, let's say, B1, I have, let's say, B2. B1 and B2 mixed in this batch. Average of this B1, let's call it as 40. Average of this B2, let's call it as uh, 30. If I have, let's say, call it as 20 member here, and let's say call it as 10 member here. So I may ask you, what is the average of this entire group, which is obtained after mixing this one? Or instead of this 20 and 10, I can also give you that if I mix B1 and B2 in the ratio, 2 is to 1, then find the average of the entire group. This kind of a question I categorize into type 2. Just example for you to understand and make you familiar with the type 2. If you have not attended type 1, don't worry. This is entirely different from type 1. Only thing I'll be using here is the uh, relationship. What are the relationship I have? N1 by N2. This, this one I want you people to understand. This will be always equal to A2 minus AW whole divided by AW minus A1. Sir, how do you remember it? Let me first come back and tell you first this only. I want you to remember this diagram. Don't remember formula. This is difficult. You may get confused. But I can say that everyone will remember the diagram. The first one is A1. The last one is A2. Can you remember this much of? And how to remember this one also? So first one is A1. The last one has to be A2. And if I'm not wrong, between this will be always mixture. This is how I'll write. So whenever this kind of situation will be there, the quantity of A1 is called as N1. The quantity of A2 is called as N2. How I'm remembering this? I'm just telling you how to remember this. What I'll do? Cross multiply. So this area will be N2. And how to calculate this area? This will be AW minus A1 or A1 minus AW, either way around. So what I said, N2 correspond to what? AW minus A1. Whether everyone followed this part of story? Next part of story, come back to N1. What is N1? N1 is nothing but this, this area, sir. How to get this area? A2 minus AW or AW minus A2, either way around. So this is A1. So if you if you remember this diagram, you can always write this uh, equation faster. Now I'll tell you the solution. How to do this solution? I'll be writing the data. What is the data I have? 40 on the top, 30 here, 
in the middle how much i don't know but i know the ratio is equal to 2 is to 1 i hope everyone can draw this uh, straight line graph and once you have drawn this straight line graph i hope you understand the average will be somewhere somewhere here so how do you say that average is somewhere here the bigger side average will be tends towards the bigger side is that clear everyone of you according to equation of allegation this area has to be n1 this area has to be n2 n1 plus n2 n1 plus n2 is this entire area from here till here can i say that n1 and n2 is nothing but this entire area so can i also write that n1 plus n2 will be equal to this will be equal to what i'm on the 40 i reach to 30 how much distance i have traveled 10 so here unit on the top is rate value which has to be equal to quantity value that 3 is equal to 10 and we, we we got the answer see how we got the answer when 3 is equal to 1 i'll find for 1 1 is equal to 10 by 3 that is nothing but equal to 3.333 hence 2 will be nothing but equal to 6.66 See, I am on 30, I am increasing and I am reaching here. This is equal to 2, which 2 will be equal to 6.666. Where I am right now, 30. Where I will be reaching after 6.66 distance traveled. Can I say that? I will be reaching at a place called as 36.666. Now, what do I want to do with 3? How much is it? I want to say that how much is it? 3 is 10 to 10, I know. But I don't want to do 3. I want to do 3. अगर यहां पे हूं यहां तक पहुंचने के लिए डिक्रीज करना पड़ेगा यहां पे हूं इधर जाने के लिए इंक्रीज करना पड़ेगा मैं इंक्रीज प्रेफर करता हूं क्यों मैं इंक्रीज प्रेफर करता हूं क्योंकि इंक्रीज एडिशन है एडिशन आसान होता है सो आई इन फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन आई एम रीचिंग हियर सो वेयर आई रीच्ड हियर आई रीच्ड एट 36.6 हाउ बिकॉज़ 1 वाज इक्वल टू 3.33 सो 2 विल बी डबल ऑफ इट दैट इज 6.66 सो दिस 2 विल बी ऑन द टॉप on the top, 2 will be as good as 6.66. When 2 will be as good as 6.66, what do you need to do? From 30, you are going towards 40, means increasing. Increase 30 by 6.66. What number you'll get? You'll get a number called as 36.66. That is the value of AW. Sir, I don't want to increase. Don't increase. Now and then go and do the decrease. How much decrease you want to do? 3.33. 40 minus 3.33 will be also 36.66 or 36.67. I want you people to see to this question. Let me understand this example. If I'm if I'm a beginner, if I don't know anything, what I'll do is that I'll draw this diagram. I always recommend my people to draw this diagram. Can you say that the price of this one, this one not average price? I hope I said that A is not average. A is nothing but a form of A by B. Whatever in the question will be a form A by B that will be represented by A. So here price one is how much? 15. Here price two is how much? 20. What is the price of the mixture? I don't know. So uh, let's call it as AW. The ratio is also given as 2 is to 3. I hope after looking at this kind of question, your mind will say, Sir, this is my type 2 problem, sir. I hope you're able to recognize this. If this is type 2 problem means, what you will do? You will do is that, you'll not even draw the diagram now. You'll say that 2 plus 3, that is 5. 5 has to be equal to how much, sir? What is the difference on the top? 5 has to be equal to 5, sir. If 5 has to be equal to 5 means, it's very easy for me now. Let me see this diagram here so that I can explain it to you well. But it's happening in the mind. So this was 2, this was 3, this was 15, this was 20. And let me come back to say this area has to be equal to 3 according to equation. This has to be equal to 2. I will not directly go back and add or subtract this 3. What you should not do, don'ts. What are the don'ts here? Don't touch and go back and do the same thing. No. This will be done un only in one particular case. You cannot go back and add. This 5 is equal to 5. Whenever this equation will be same. N2 to A2 minus A1. A1. Equation. This 1 will be equal to 1. Hence 3 will be also equal to 3. Now see which direction I am increasing. I am increasing from here. So 15 plus 3 will be equal to 18. Have you understood how to solve type 2 problem? Or any problem? I need not to tell you guys, you have experience by yourself also. Aptitude is a kind of a subject where we have to practice. If you have understood the topic, we liked it off. To stay tuned with us, kindly subscribe to the channel.